morning, everyone, and welcome to Great Day Houston. Okay, so as you all know, the big game is this weekend. It is such a monumental event, it is its own entity. And the NFL has a bank of lawyers to protect the name. If we just say it, okay, that's okay. If you say it tied to an event you're making money on, well, game on. In 2007, an Indiana church group advertised a Super Bowl watch party and charged admission. They got a cease and desist letter from the NFL and had to cancel, as did several other events. So, we thought of some substitute names that still get the point across for for example football con football con okay that's a good one okay and and, and another one maybe ma'am brady bowl oh the brady bowl the <laughs> brady bowl okay here's one of my favorite men in tight sport ball spectacular <laughs> yes that's a good one okay uh and is there another one some other suggestions soccer's cousin soccer's yeah, so, well, of course in this town a lot of people say football is really soccer okay uh what else the world's biggest coin toss. The world's biggest coin toss. Okay, that's a good one. And another one? Commercials with football interruptions. <laughs> commercials with football interruptions, because some of us will watch just for the commercials. Okay, uh, one more. Soup in a bowl. Oh, now you're getting close. You might get sued. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about El Super Cuenco? Right? So if you say it in another language, then maybe, you'll, you know, they'll, it'll slide by. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you say it in that different language, right? You know, sometimes it happens, right? Yeah. When you, okay. All right. Good. Well, if you're having a party and charging admission, consider one of those names. Otherwise, speaking of a party on game day, Crystal Williams stopped by with Poppin' Party with some suggestions. All right, Crystal, there are lots of kind of, you know, event and party places out there, but mm -hmm. yours seems to have a different twist to it. How did you start doing this? Oh, well, how I started it was I just have a love for, you know, having a family get together, putting it all together, making sure it goes good. So that's how this all started. And then, you know, it's just taken off from there. Yeah. So there's great food, but you are creative. You're like a crafter and stuff too. So I love the whole atmosphere right here. So anybody who's planning a party, yes. obviously you start with a theme mm -hmm. and there's so many things out there you can get or things that you can make up yourself. Yes. There's so many do it yourself projects, just even alone in this setup. Like we have the chalkboard plates and the chalkboard cups. That's something fun to do with the kids. Cause you always want to keep stuff pretty interactive mm -hmm. and that's really where the whole Lord of the Wings theme came about. Yeah, so Lord of the Wings, <laughs> I love this, because wings are easy to do uh, for a party. Everybody loves them, for the most Everybody part, Everybody right? loves them, and it's something to get, you know, your family and friends interactive, even especially around Super Bowl, because you could just say, you know, everybody make a wing, bring a wing to the party, and then have a little Ooh, competition. a wing party competition. 100%. See? And then everybody votes for what wing, you know, everybody gets one ticket, then they vote for their favorite ring, and then that's the Lord of the Wings till the next Super Bowl. Yeah. All right. So some of the, the flavors that you have over here. Lemon pepper, garlic mm. parmesan, mm. buffalo. You know, you can get really creative with whatever wing flavor you like. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can even do it, you know, team versus team, however you want to do it. But, you know, wings you can get super creative. With. Yeah. It's interesting. My, my son was actually born on Super Bowl Sunday back in 2004 when it's oh, here nice. in Houston. Yeah. I had a double shift that day and I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> uh, and he, he came into the world right, right before the game. Uh, but so every year we do a Super Bowl party and pretend it's his, really birth, his birthday party. Right? Boom, two and one. Yeah, this is all about you, boo. But, um, <laughs> uh, but it's cool because we're, you're able to find the, the plates and things like you have right here that fit into the theme. Yes. I love what you did for, like, the tablecloth here. Yes. We got a little bit creative, got some turf from Home Depot, and just really just made a football field out of it. And so chalkboards, you can do yourself. So just get creative with it. Have yeah. fun. All totally. right. Now, part of the have fun is, is a few drinks. Uh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And what we've done here today is we've done our Super Bowl sangria. And, I mean, we do parties all over the city, and I've never met one person that didn't like this recipe. Okay, let's put it together. Yes, it's totally foolproof. So all you need is some cranberry pomegranate juice, and you can find this at any grocery store. Uh -huh. Just your generic cranberry pomegranate juice, some dry red wine, and if you like a little bit of a sweeter sangria, you could totally go for a sweet red. Uh huh. And then the frozen fruit acts as it gets the drink cold and acts as, you know, an infusion. Oh, that's a good flavor. idea. Yeah, to, to have your, yeah. Fruit frozen. Exactly. Okay. And that's just going to get better with time. Okay. Because one thing. I don't think I'm going to give it much time. <laughs> I don't think you are either. Because, you know, when you're doing a party, you don't want to be stuck at the bar, right? Yeah. You want your guests to serve themselves. So you want to make a drink that's going to get better with time. Mm. And that is just going to infuse in flavor. And that you can leave right on the table and have your guests enjoy it. Yeah. So okay. we're just going to shake this up. I love it. Give Glass it a good mm -hmm. stir. All right. And I'm anxious to see what you think about this. She even has football straws right here. That's okay, it. Okay, here we go. And go for it. Okay. 
You spiked it. You took the ball and you spiked it. Touchdown. That's it. Right touchdown. Here. We yes. have a touchdown. <laughs> All right. There are some people who are creative, but a lot mm -hmm. of people get overwhelmed as yes. well. And they don't even know where to begin with anything, with the decor, with the food. Uh, you all make that easy. So you mm -hmm. can help with every single thing. For example, if you don't want to have it in your home, if you're looking for a site to do it at. Yes. We can help you with the venue. We can do it, you know, at your job. We can do it in your home. However you want to do it, we can do it because we have pop and party packages, which include everything from the food, the drink, the entertainment, and the decorations. Yeah. So we think of all of that. All you got to do is call 8333 parties and we can take care of it from there. Yeah, and also budget analysis because budget that's where a lot of people get in trouble. But 100%. Because yeah. your budget is really going to determine everything about your event and, you know, really tell you, do I want to spend more on food? Do I want to spend more on decoration? So starts with the budget, and once we have that, we can cater a package to fit your needs. Yeah, you can also help people stretch their dollar but still have great stuff. Like, you know, if, exactly. you, have, if you have full wine servings for people, that might be a little bit more expensive than mixing it with, like, a sangria, but you still get a great drink, right? Exactly. You still get a great drink because there's a bunch of creative ways that you can make a party happen on a budget. You just sometimes need a little bit of professional help with that. Yeah, you also have client gifts, so you can do party favors, client, the whole thing. The whole thing, client gifts, um, entertainment, you know, anything from a fire dancer to live music. Oh, fire dancers. We've thought of everything. We've <laughs> pre-packaged it, pre-priced it. Like I said, all you have to do is call us. Yeah, what do those fire dancers look like? Oh, well, they, they can look however they're you want to look. They're hot, they're hot. They're hot. We'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go but in with big. That. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> How much lead time do you usually like with something? Well, we like a minimum of about a week. We've done quicker before, but you know, anywhere from a week to a couple of months. They're prepackaged parties, so you just give us a call. We'll take it from yeah. there. We got it handled. How small? How big? How small? We've done anything from as low as 20 people to up to 1,200 people. So, wow. I mean, we're, we hope to even go. Yeah even higher so okay, we so can fit any need yeah yeah well we're fitting someone's needs right now we have Dar <laughs> Darius Morris here with us this morning he was an offensive tackle and a guard and you played for what pro football team I had the opportunity to play for the Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys both that's almost like playing for A&M and UT <laughs> <laughs> very cool yeah. you know it, this the game, right? You know, the big game, the Super Bowl, is one of those things that people can dismiss as just entertainment. Mm -hmm. But it really does a lot more than that, doesn't it? Oh, it does a lot more than that. It brings the community together, brings people from different places. Everybody comes to one place just to watch the Super Bowl and interact with each other and enjoy the game. Yeah, totally. 36 million people around the world yeah. wow. expected to watch the game. All right, for you, what did playing the game teach you that you'll take with you for the rest of your life? Uh, it taught me a lot of discipline and patience because you I mean sometimes things don't happen right away and you got to have that patience for to get things going so yeah. discipline and patience all right who are you rooting for uh, i want to see the rams win and why yeah. <laughs> uh, just you're because, just saying that because you're jealous of brady yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just because the Patriots is always in the Super Bowl, but I, mean, I want to see the Rams win. Yeah, they yeah. haven't won one in a long time. Because the Patriots come back again, it, it will be named the Brady Bowl, and we, that's yeah. not what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Darius, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. On puffin parties and to get your Lord of the Wings party pack. All right, tell us about the party pack. Party pack, food, beverage, decor, entertainment, all inclusive. Give us a call. We can help you out. All right. And you can also log on to greatdayhouston.com for more information.